Hello and welcome to CMG video. Um, I haven't made a video in a long time. I figured I'm doing the brakes on my Audi Q7, so I figured I'd do another video. Uh, this is going to be a short video, just show you how to uh, replace the the Audi Q7 uh, brakes. You take a half inch uh, uh, socket, and there's only one screw back here. And you put one screw back here, which is the caster of the the brakes. So let me take this out. Okay, I'm just going to take this out real quick and just show you real simple how to uh, remove these brakes and put new brakes. Real easy to do, nothing hard about it. So here's the, the screw. Okay, now there's a carriage there. What I'm going to do is just stick a long narrow thing to take the, the carriage out. You can do these brakes about 10 minutes. Okay. There we go. There we go. You see the carriage is out. The carriage is here. Now you got the brakes here. You got a little clip here. And if you're very careful, what you need to do is you need to close the, the, the piston. So if you take a screwdriver and just pull it back a little bit, uh, like that. And you see, it should be a little, just real easy. Should come out. So now I'm going to take them out. And you can see there's the sensor here, the brake pad sensor wire here. Um, the brake pad sensor is really easy and you need to be careful if you want to reuse them again uh, These are brand new that I have in here because I just replaced these brakes And I'm replacing them with new brakes because uh, these brakes squeak a real lot So if you see here, there's the sensor there If you take a little screwdriver in there and just tuck it in It should come out, it's hard to see But if you put it, flip it over And you just tuck it real easy And it should pop right out. There we go. Just like that. And you can see these are new brakes, but they're rubbish. They're no name bra brakes and they squeak. So I'm replacing them today with a set of uh, Primo pads, um, which much better quality. Like I said, these are brand new. They're probably about two weeks old. But they squeak and uh, can't get rid of the squeak. So I'm going to place them with Remo. Again, so you're going to take this pad out. And there's the sensor there. And it's got a little hole there. If you go real easy in there, it should pop right out. There the brakes. Simple as that. And so now, you just leave this on here. And there's the sensor. And you can replace the sensor if you want. It just connects here. So simple as that. So I'm just going to take the screwdriver and be careful. Just going to pull the pistons in a little bit, just so you get an easier fit. Real, real simple. Like that. Like that. I'm going to put the light on if you have to. My daughter's recording. Just like that. Real simple. So I'm going to take the Brimo pads. Here's the Brimo pads. I'm going to put the sensor back in. So here's. This adapter goes like this. So I'm gonna take the Brimo pads and you can see that the, sen the, the sensors, the thick one goes to the inside. So you just slide it back in there, just like that. Just like that, Eat simple, okay? So there's the pad there. I need, I need to open up that, that uh, caliper a little bit more. Mariana, can you put the light in here? There we go. There we go. Then here we go. That should do it. And you can see. Oh, this one needs a little bit more. You don't want to force it in there. You want to put it gentle. But that's it. That should do it. There you go. One in. Simple as that. Take the other one. with the other Brimo? There's the other one. Gonna slide that sensor right in. So you see here the sensor, the thick part of the sensor, right here slides right in there, just like that. And it should slide in nice and easy. There it is, just like that. So you just flick it through. This one should slide. This one should slide in real, 
real easy. Just like that. Done. Simple as that. And now you just put the carriage bolt through again, which I'm going to do right now. This is the carriage bolt. And the carriage bolt's got two things here. You got to make sure that it goes in there straight. So here's the carriage bolt. And so now I'm just going to press down and tap it in. Press it down. Oops. There we go. Tap it in. It's on top. Tap it in a little bit more. Oops, hitting something. There we go. That. I'm going to slide it in through the hole and guide it through. Just like that. Whoops. Just like that. Tap it in. Just like that. Put the screw on it. Put the screw on it. Tighten it. And the wire there. That's pretty much it. Ten minutes. You can do the brakes all the way around. The front ones are the same thing, the back ones are even easier. And so, here it is. And I'm gonna do another little video. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to uh, 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 refurbish your, your wheels, because uh, my wife hits the curb, so this will be another video coming on. Thanks for watching. Uh, look at some of my other videos uh, that I have on YouTube, cm uh, cmgvideo.com. Thanks, cheers.